I do see color because I believe if you don't see color, you can't see racism. And we coach ball. We don't look at color. But you also understand that representation matters too, right? And that when young aspiring coaches or even football players, they see you guys, you know, they see someone that looks like them, maybe grew up like them, that has to mean something. Well, when you say you see you guys and look like them and grow up like them, it means that we're eyeballs to begin with. And I think the minute you guys start stop making a big deal about it, everybody else will as well. As you head into a presidential election year, one thing you can be sure of, 2024 will be tumultuous. How will your hard-earned savings fare? You already see impact of inflation at the pump, the grocery store, the dollar continues to lose buying power quicker than wages can increase. How are you protecting your savings? Consider diversifying with gold from Burst Gold Group. For decades, gold has been the choice of investors and central banks to hedge against inflation. Now you can own it in a tax-sheltered IRA with the help of Burst Gold. Just text Brandon to 989898 and Burst Gold will send you a free info kit on gold. They'll help you convert an existing IRA or 401k into an IRA and gold without paying a penny out of pocket. With an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau and thousands of satisfied customers, you can trust Burst Gold too. Text Brandon to 989898 for your free info kit. Text Brandon to 989898 now. A few things that I want to talk about. And people are always like, Brandon, you always being mad at black people. But man, look, let me just, I, I'm going to say this till I die. If you don't want to listen to me, then tell Salem you don't want me on the radio. But I, I, I can't, I have to say what I feel. This is incredibly ridiculous what I see coming from people of color. Now, the Patriots, longtime successful coach, Bill Belichick, retired. Well, I don't know if he retired, but he left the Patriots. I don't think he retired. I, I, I think I heard that he was uh he just kind of left the Patriots, he's going to go somewhere else. Or maybe he was forced out. Regardless of that, they decided to pick another coach. And the way our society works today, they're not picking a coach on merit. It's an NFL rule that when they go to hire somebody or do a hiring process, they got to add black people in there to in the hiring process. No matter if they qualified or not, they just got to put black people in there. And then, what do you know? The Patriots go to hire a coach and they hire the black guy. Down there's a lot of black Coaches that are absolutely amazing and they deserve to be head coaches. But, you know, you always have the question mark in your mind because of the way they do business. It should be an unwritten rule that they, you do certain things. It shouldn't be written down on paper. It's just like Katanji Brown. I'm going I'm to elect the next Supreme Court justice going to be a black woman. Well, then you're like, well, is she the most qualified or are you just going to pick a black woman? All he had to do was say, I'm going to pick the most qualified person on planet Earth and then just pick a black woman. And so Mayo who was actually a linebacker for the Patriots. I remember watching him play. He's a great player. They selected him to be the head coach. I couldn't hear you, Sean. They se okay, we got the clip. They, they selected him to be a head coach. Now, I want you to think about this for a minute and imagine what he's about to say. Now, this wasn't the totality of his press conference, but let, let's, let's, let's put this in perspective. Let's put some context on it. This is 2024. He's sitting next to a billionaire who owns the team who just gave him a job to run a team that's paying all these black people millions of dollars. And this is what he says in his press conference as he accepts the job of being the head coach of the New England Patriots. Wrote a clip. I do see color because I believe if you don't see color, you can't see racism. And whatever, whatever happens, black, white, disabled person, I've always, even someone with disabilities, I always, uh, you know, for the most part, people are like, you know, don't, you know, when they're young, they, they kind of make the spot hot. Younger people know what that means. But what I would say is, like, no, I want you to be able to go up to those people and really understand those people. So it goes back to whatever it is, black, white, yellow, it really doesn't matter, but it does matter so we can try to fix a problem that we all know we have. They picked a dumb, they picked a dumb brother. He can't even talk. <laughs> Y'all, this stuff is making black people look bad. He just said, and I know he's probably nervous or whatever, but like there's a level of decorum and professionalism that you would expect your head coach to have. That man said, it doesn't matter what color you are, white, black, green, or orange, but it does matter. <laughs> what do you say? How you say it doesn't matter, but it does matter. And yeah, I see color because if you don't see color, you don't see racism. What do you mean? I don't. See, 
when a person say I don't see color, that means I don't focus or prioritize a person's color. That's not what I see from a person. I see their actions. And just because I'm choosing to see someone's actions and not focus on the color of their skin, which is irrelevant, I can still see that you are focusing on somebody's color. I can still see racism. Because I don't prioritize color don't mean I can't see other people not prior, uh, you know, other people prioritizing color. They picked a man up here. It's just like Herschel Walker. I like Herschel. He seemed like a good guy. But, man, the GOP picked Herschel Walker. He can't talk. He, he, he seemed like he fell and bumped his head the night before he got on the campaign trail. And he concussed. And it's not his fault. He do have a southern accent, and he also is probably got some illiteracy going on there. And I'm not trying to make fun of him. I'm just saying it's the way he sound. He sound like he got a head injury which he probably does. He played football. He's a great football player. Probably one of the best to ever play it. But then they got this guy, Mayo, that was a football player. The stereotype, was, the stereotypes are that black people are ignorant. It happens. They're ignorant. They're not as smart. And then now with the affirmative action stuff, they're not qualified. And then he get on there and do that. Now he, he looked like he's not smart and not qualified. There's other brothers that become coaches and they're very smart and articulate. And, and that's what you expect from a team leader. But y'all, they're just picking people. they just picking people. And for this man to say in 2024 and use the word racism in his speech, I don't get it, man. You Black black people have been brainwashed so much, and I'm not all black people. It's been a significant amount of black people that have been brainwashed so much that it doesn't matter how high you get. They still shame white people and are racist themselves and believe in fallacies that only hurt black people. No matter how high you get, the Patriots is one of the most prestigious football teams in the NFL. They are one of the most winningest teams in the NFL. It is an absolute honor to be the head coach of the New England Patriots. LeBron James is probably one of the best NBA players to ever live. His stats, his longevity, he's probably one of the greatest. He'll never be as great as Michael Jordan because he's a lame. But Michael Jordan w- wouldn't kneel, be kneeling and doing all this stupid stuff. I'm sure there was racism and stuff going on when Michael was in, but he, Michael wouldn't do what LeBron does because LeBron is an immature brat, in my opinion. And so you got LeBron James, billionaire. You got Mayo, just got hired as a Patriots head coach. You got Colin Kaepernick. You got some of these people that are high up. You, and then you go to entertainment and it gets worse. These people are so brainwashed that – as high as they are, they still focus on stupid stuff that mean nothing. It's not even real. Racism in America is literally a dying sport or and or on life support. I have never, I have not personally experienced racism in my life. Not something that's like obvious and overt racism. I had a dude call me the N-word when I was a police officer. The only time I've ever had anybody call me the N-word was when I was a police officer, and it happened twice. And I don't even th- think those people are racist. I think they tried to say something to make me mad because other weak-minded, Faberge egg black people cry themselves to sleep over you saying a word. And so people know that, so they just trigger you with a word and make you act out of character. But with me, I was like, yeah, whatever, man. You can call me what you want to call me. You're still going to jail. And you can't whoop me. So you can call me what you, you can use your words. You come put your hands on me, you're gonna get a beat down. They're gonna have they gonna have you on first 48 or something. Anyway, let's move on. It bothers me, y'all. I wanted to do the show and talk about something else, but when I saw that man get on there and talk about racism in 2024, it's crazy to me. Most of America isn't racist. I've been all over the country. So nobody can say, well, you 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 live in Arizona. Yeah, I live here, but I've been in New York. Been to Brooklyn. I've been to some places in New York that's the hood. I've been to really nice places in New York. I've been I've been to almost every state in the Union. I've been to Maryland. I've been to Maine. I've been to Florida, Louisiana, Oklahoma. I mean, I, I've been everywhere. California. I've been to Oregon. I've been to state, the, you know, Washington State, Idaho. Where else can I? Where else can I think? I've been to Wisconsin. I've been to Minnesota. I've been to 
St. Louis, I mean, I'm in Missouri, which is St. Louis, Missouri. I've been everywhere in the country. I have never had a white person be any treat me any other way. I, I they all been nice to me, just normal people. Hey, I go to Starbucks, give them a coffee, they give it to me. Hey, Mr. Tatum, thank you so much. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. They smile, they wave at you. What, what, where where are these people experiencing this this racism at? The white man just holding you down. Ain't nothing but white people been helping me my whole life be successful. Ain't nothing but white people. When I had a kid out of wedlock in college, ain't nobody helped me. But a man named John, white man, went out his way to, to bless me and take care of my family. Outside of my family, I ain't only with white people. Hold the phone. I'll be back after the break. 